I think it's good for our guys after, you know, coming back from break and then going right <clears throat> traveling, you know, across country and wrestling in some duels and coming back and seeing things that we need to work on. And so it's good and let our bodies rest and then kind of get geared for this part of the season, which is, you know, double duels kind of coming up week after week. So, you know, you just put it into your training and, and um, you know, if there's a gap there, you rest your bodies and, and you focus on things you need to focus on that it's a lot harder to do when you're just competing, you know, one match after another because you're kind of just recovering and getting ready. And so that gap, you know, you just use it in, in your training to, to get better. And then looking ahead to this week, home duels, first home duels of the season, um, you know, what can you expect out of Adam State and New Mexico Highlands? Uh, you know, Adams State, I think, is the, the, the team to beat. And, um, yeah, so we're excited for that. They've, uh, yeah, had a good showing, and I think they just knocked off the number three ranked team uh, in a duel. So, yeah, they're going to be tough. And, and where we're tough, they're tough. And so that's that makes for a good duel meet. Um, and then Highlands, haven't seen a lot of, of them. I know we had a team wrestle them out at the Tracy Bora duels, uh, some extra guys that we had there. And, and so – yeah, they're nobody to, nobody to take lightly. So um, you know, but they'll be the very next day. So we got to kind of get ready, you know, after a tough duel tomorrow to be able to compete uh, the very next day. Questions? I say, Dawson, you know, at, at the the duels up there, that first match, you kind of know, okay, this guy's he's he's gonna be pretty good. And we saw, you know, a couple of video clips of, you know, when you took him down in the overtime and everybody in the corners going crazy. What do you kind of take from that and build for the rest of the season? So uh, after beating him, you know, I, I mean, it definitely boosted my confidence, but I've definitely sat down, I've talked with people, I've, I've thought with myself and like, after beating him, just because he's the number one kid in the nation, that doesn't mean that I'm there now, you know, it doesn't mean that I'm the number one in the nation and I don't have to worry about all these other kids, you know, like there's still a lot of kids I have to worry about and there's still, uh, there's nobody to take lightly just because I beat him, like I'm still, I still have to work my way up, like after beating him I'm only number seven still, so I mean there's a lot, there's a lot of stuff to build on and I can't get my confidence too, too high, but it definitely did help beating him and beating that other kid, so. I am, and Colin, I mean you've just been kind of steady Eddie all season long and now now you're getting into the conference when you know it's not some they aren't all or nothing type of matches but you guys really want to do well in the duels obviously and and win the conference does it kind of help you can concentrate on one guy at a time now um yeah yeah i think uh, i think i've i've probably hit um a corner dawson and i both like kind of hit a corner in our wrestling for the season so I think it's a good time to um, hit that corner and just worry about getting better. And it, it, I think it does help to take it one one match at a time. But I do look forward to tough matches and the rest of my season. So, well, so yeah, the way you guys have have handled duels in the past, and it's just you know how good this team can be in a duel. Yeah, I know the yeah you know, the duel against Western. Half the team was sick and didn't kind of wrestle as well as anybody wanted to, but it looks like everybody's close to knock on wood, being healthy and and ready to go for the stretch run. So you feel like this team's kind of ready to challenge everybody in this conference? Yeah, yeah, I think that we were figuring out some lineup, um, some lineup guys around in the beginning of the season, but I think that, yeah, I think everything's kind of fallen where it's gonna lay for the rest of the season and all we can do is let the work take care of itself so and Dawson you're you're the guy who has to kind of start this off and I know a lot of guys have said kind of how the first two or three matches go you guys build on that how do you get yourself ready to be the first guy out honestly I don't know I've always I've always liked liked being the guy like sh starting stuff off but it does get stressful at times especially when for tomorrow like, like I got Brendan Garcia wrestle them before you know it's going to be it's nerve-wracking but I mean I know if I go out there and I wrestle like I'm supposed to and I wrestle like I have been I'll, I'll I'll end up on top and then if I end up on top it's always Colin always follows up really good after I win and then after he wins it with me and Colin always start the duels off really strong so I'm excited I think we're ready
Yeah, Mike, now you know, you're getting into conference where guys know each other a lot better. Is it easier to kind of get guys prepared for the conference duels other than, you know, tournaments? Sometimes you have no idea who's obviously going to be next or you don't know much about a team in a dual tournament. Yeah, I think, you know, I think yeah, when you have your conference duels, you, you, you're a little more familiar with who you're going to wrestle. And sometimes there's a little bit of, of planning that goes into that. And, and um, you know, sometimes it's just us, like as coaches, we, you know, we think through maybe some situations, maybe um, with choice in, in, the, in the match of the period. Um, and with some of these guys, maybe there's a couple things that we like what you address and work on. And sometimes we don't like we don't need to try and you know, muddy it like these guys need to go wrestle their matches at the end of the day. They got to wrestle the way they wrestle. And then and, and if there's a one off thing that maybe they just need to be aware of, then we kind of point that out. But otherwise, you know, it's just I think it's imp important that these guys know that, you know, they're going to see some of these guys multiple times. So it's important just to when you go out there that you that you lay it on, lay it out there, you know, not be reserved, not being worried about like, well, I've seen this guy you wrestle this guy before you can <clears throat> maybe get hesitant and uh you know just like with dawson like if he's wrestling him before he's go out there and, and can maybe make adjustments but otherwise just needs to go out there and just wrestle his his best match yeah it's it's one of those things where you know you kind of you know i mean you're gonna see old teammates you know yeah. and does it kind of you know i mean even though you don't you won't face guys this guys that you grew up with and and wrestled with so just a little bit more juice in in a duel. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I love those guys with all my heart, you know. But obviously, I'm not gonna be clapping for them like I was a few years ago in high school or cheering them on like I was in high school. But we'll still be friends afterwards and say hi. But during the duel, you know, I'm with my team and they're with their team. So yeah, it'd be a little bit awkward if you're yeah. clapping. Yeah. Like yeah. yeah, yeah, that would not yeah. go over well. <laughs> it'd be at a little all. weird. So <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think you'd be asked to not do that anymore. Right. So, it, uh, you know, Colin, you, you've been a guy that, I mean, everybody kind of looks to, since you've been here, to be kind of a leader on this team. Even even your first year, I think, you kind of established yourself. So what do you kind of try to tell the young kids on this team about the conference duels especially? Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, I, I tried not to when I first came here to try and, because I knew I was, like, new and I didn't want to step on anybody's toes. But, yeah, I, I think as I've been here, I've kind of gotten confidence as, like, a, an older guy in the room. and um, As these young guys, like, in our lineup, we have some freshmen in our lineup. So, um, and, yeah, they, you know, we have guys who Alex, like Alex who gets really nervous or gets really disappointed when he loses matches. And I just try to, like, let them focus on it's just about getting better like you're young and you have a lot of matches in you for your career so just about getting better at wrestling and yeah doing the best that you can Mike a kind of a personal question for you going against a, a college teammate on the, the other side of the mat who you got your coaching start with not that it's your first time here but now first time being officially in charge of the program what's that kind of like for, for you tomorrow night yeah I think it's been unique you know just it, it, uh coach Ramstetter and I are like brothers like wrestling in college together and great friends and and um you know at the end of the day it's a dual meet we're wrestling his team it's but it's but it's it is weird like uh you know it almost be like wrestling your brother you know you don't want to beat him but you don't want to lose to him. I mean not like I mean, you don't want to lose to him and then and then when you beat him like it just doesn't it just yeah it just doesn't feel right you know but uh yeah we're certainly close like you know he's in my wedding a guy that has been you know i go camping with every every year every fall and um yeah so it's it's different but it you know we have respect for each other and we understand it's a dual meet and we go out and compete so um yeah you won't be clapping for him either. <laughs> no <laughs> you know you know, but it's different. Like he, last year, you know, I don't know, like just looking at like ha his performance at nationals, I was super happy for him and, and proud of his team. And, and, um, you know, it was, it's good. Like, uh, relationship between us to where like, you know, I want nothing but the best for him and, and probably vice versa. And, uh, when we go out and compete, it's just, it's, it's our job, like my team and, and it's his team. And, you know, we just go compete. I don't know. 
as you can tell, it's a little bit awkward. I don't know how to answer that question, but um, yeah, no, I hate, I, I don't like losing and, and, and I like winning, um, but yeah, I guess if you lose to somebody, and if it's your brother, it's a little bit easier to swallow than somebody else. All right, you guys, question of the week. If you could time travel, when and where would you go? <laughs> um, I've always wanted to meet Teddy Roosevelt, so I'd probably go back and, and meet him. I think he was a pretty cool dude to meet. Mm. That's a tough one. Yeah, maybe travel back to the time when Jesus was alive and, yeah, maybe be in that era 